welcome to another video. My name is Daniel and this is Wallen Survival Channel. This is my new house and I am very bright because I have a soft box there and a very big uh, light there. I just got to turn that down a little bit because uh, it's getting sweaty. Okay, much better. Much better. So um, uh, I've been uh, starting to blog as you can see and I uh, have uh, done a lot of uh, thing. I actually been in the wild once with my son but it uh, was only without a camera and uh, I think we're going to do a review uh, today uh, or unboxing of uh, what I've been uh, looking forward to uh, this is a wildland survival channel, you know, and I have uh, uh, in my hands the Solqua survival system from S3. This is probably uh, what uh, the seals uh, seem to use. So I have it here. And it's a big box, as you can probably see. And it's the Pro Kit A200. And it says, see, turn this on as well. The expanded level survival kit designed for self sufficiency over longer periods of time and extended emergency. Coveralls, eight light saving survival tasks include over 60 survival components, with most provide the most with use. I'm very excited guys, this is, could be probably the best survival kit uh, out there. Now there are many uh, survival kits that um, I think actually suck. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to see how this is. This is actually sealed. And I'm actually bought a color, wow, it smells really funky, uh, the khaki uh, version, so it's uh, not, not too heavy, but uh, it falls with a nice patch, and um, yeah, here it is, uh, what it has, um, so let's open it, and let's go through all these components with you guys. These are some glucose tablets, um, raspberry, 10 tablets, uh, that's probably if you are in need of sugar and you are uh, in need of sugar and you expire next, next uh, year uh, and you are uh, in need of water then you can take uh, one of these glucose tablets. Next, uh, seems to me like this is a Scout Pioneer uh, water filter. Nice. And here we have some um, tin with a uh, candlelight. This is uh, beeswax, very nice wow you have a leather man and a good leather man as well this is the real thing guys not a crappy version of a leather man with a knife and some good pliers, very sharp. This is the Sidekick Leatherman. Very good. We have a Petzl little container. And it has a light and this is no joke this is uh, well I have never 
Maybe you have to turn like that. With a red light as well, so you can see in the in the dark strobe. Right. And you can turn it. It uses, uh, I think it's 5 volt or 3 volt, I don't know. Uh, but very, very nice little light with this own carrier. It's probably better than the one I have using and has also a whistle. Nice. Very cool. Okay, let's move on. Here we have a fire starter kit. And you can see some UCO, normal UCO um, store matches. You can see different kind of tinder, cotton ball and waxed um, line. Also some uh, Um, uh, let's open this. Let's use the leather, leather man. I know I was, it was a knife here, so no need for use to go to and get the light. Store matches. These ones are not really so good. Uh, they are a little bit better than this one. This is some, uh, uh, oh, what is called, um, from your bicycle. I don't know what it's called in English. You can use this to burn as well. Tinder, uh, cotton balls. You have, uh, yeah, some cord uh, in beeswax and some, uh, I don't know what it's called in English, but uh, it's different kind of materials. This is like some tablets, fast fire, it says. Soul for survival. And this is a ferro with a little saw. Very nice. Here we have, you see, this seems like some gloves of some kind. Yeah, it seems like some, um, some gloves. And we have here a new millennium energy bar, vanilla natural flavor, nice. We have here a very good Sunto compass, very good pen with uh, uh, rubber. And this is uh, what, what uh, probably military people used to count in uh, the states you can count uh, the miles you have walked for many other things some parkour little pen so-called survival systems very nice good compass for navigation uh, our survival card uh, with different kind of um, numbers, rules, meters, yeah, to read maps, and you have also the compass as well. Here are some instructions to on how to use the compass. Very good. You have a very nice book of right in the rain. Many, yeah, map scales, measurements, measurements, car with measurements, and then you have it here as well. A big old bottle with a hair, with a hair, so you can use to gather water. Okay, next we have some cord. Paracord. We 
150. They actually use paracord to jump from uh, parachutes today. Uh, but they are uh, most of what we do use in uh, jumping from a plane is micro cord and the military still use the paracord I believe okay duct tape a little swish made saw doesn't look too um, good uh, we have a little uh, bit of um, yeah to use with traps or other things. Two of them. Uh, a little bit uh, more of a cord for uh, also probably traps as well. And we have a saw. This is uh, a saw for probably cutting metal or I don't know if you can use this to to cut uh, wood. Probably you can but um, it doesn't seem very, it seems like the thing it will take very long. Uh, here you have a magnifying glass and a big one as well. And you have a waterproof um, zip lock, patented leak proof, certified waterproof to 200 feet, 60 meters, guys. So this is no no shit. Next, uh, seems to me like this is uh, some kind of uh, tarp. the material on this it's almost like a very durable plastic bag I'm not going to take that out but uh, yeah like a durable plastic uh, bag very durable probably good tarp something here as well this is more of a uh, oh. have uh, sewing noodles and uh, yeah for sewing here very nice this is be careful there because I think there is a strip this is more of a uh, Probably to use when you are marking the way, could be, I don't know. You have one in green and one in uh, red. I don't know, I don't really sure. Uh, this is for signaling, probably. signaling very nice and it has some kind of thing here that it could probably blink and to make light yes can actually make light and probably to signal I have never seen this kind of thing very nice with some place you can actually tie Tie it down. Oh, yeah, careful with the knife. Another knife and a big O uh, reflecting mirror for signaling. Very, very nice. Pro Air Protecti Protective Emergency 
aggress masks, smokes, explosions, toxic mel uh, chemicals, gases, biohazards. Hmm. No shit. No. This is probably one very good. Seems like it has uh, some uh, active coal in here. That's why it's so dark. Protects from bacteria and viruses as well. Nice. Okay, this seems like the medical uh, thing. And um, it has some burn aid. It has some um, bandages. Uh, some very sterilized things. I'm not going to open. I'm just going to keep like this. Nice to have, it's like a first aid kit. And then we have a bottle of I don't know what it is. Need to check on that too. We have a tick and insect repellent, 10 hour protection. Yeah, this is like the first a kid, and then we have another with some fishing lures and other things that you see. Zip tights for very nice pouch and. Uh, See here. Stand up bag. Uh, more of a wire, a little bit thinner than the other one. Hmm. We have a little blade. seen this kind of blade before so to be careful with that and this is uh, Katadin this is uh, probably to um, clear some water uh, water pills yeah to inserting in contaminated water and we have Pepper, uh, chicken bouillon, salt, dry card, sugar. This is like a very emergency ration. Nice. And some tin foil. A lot of fun and a good one, quality as well. And look at those cool uh, little fishing knots you have you have flies you have small lures a little little it seems like a little yeah it's a little fly actually never seen that, those before uh, a little fishing hooks Very nice, very you can actually get some fish with some uh, with this now. Uh, guys, I'm very, very, very surprised. This is probably the best survival uh, kit I have ever seen. Um, you could live very long time uh, with this. Um, good light, different kind of light, uh, containers, uh, food, first aid, uh, yeah, very, very good. I, I don't see 
I don't see nothing, and you, the, the knife is a leather man. It cannot be better than uh, than this. Uh, leather man are very sturdy and very very. Good. I have tried uh, to make my own survival kit that is down uh, there. It's not so bad either. The only thing that is perhaps a little bit different from this is uh, that I have a container, titanium container, I store all of it instead of a pouch. But, uh, but it's kind of the same size and I put things inside and uh, so it's, uh, it's almost the same actually. And there are some things that I probably never thought out here like this counting thing um, I don't know I don't really know what this is for those um, uh, green and red ones here seems to be marking a path or something and very good so like this this is not something you can actually get uh, every place so good uh, so I ha have actually mine is pre pretty much almost the same but of course you have more cooler things here that is uh, actually made for uh, surprise um, Yeah, pencil with eraser, gloves, mask, the shelter, uh, you had a heat reflecting blanket, must be, could be this one, tan, yes it's heat reflecting uh, blanket in tan silver, um, so it's it's a, it's a space blanket, a little bit different. Um, yeah, you have sunscreen lotion. This is probably sunscreen lotion. Yes, lotion for your hands. Yeah, this, that, that's very good, very good. Um, yeah. Type 3 power cord. Ah, you have Kevlar. Kevlar cordage is Kevlar. That's why it's so hard. Nice. This is something you cannot get uh, easy here in Norway, so good to have. But uh, actually, uh, you can actually make. Mm, Oh, you have wow! In here you have antibiotic ointment, uh, tweezers, top sponge, gauze sponge, pain relief, anti diarrhea, antihistamine, electrolytes, duct tape, uh, excessive bandages, antiseptics, alcohol. Yeah, very, very nice. Very good. Uh, 10 of 10, very nice uh, thing. There are, some, like I said, many things that um, I have uh, I haven't think of, but it's not so much things. So if you want to make a survival kit, you will probably uh, need to base it on something like this. I try uh, many survival kits like uh, Bird Grills ones and Survival Lily and many of those you can find everywhere, uh, quite cheap. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, uh, that because you will have a hard time if you, know, if you are not in good training with the survival thing. So things like this little fishing kit is great is great with some flies and all and um, 
a good leather man. Yeah. Really recommend this uh, kit and uh, if you want to make your own, please um, follow uh, this kind of uh, thing, uh, kit. Okay guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, see you next time. Bye.